A coal is usually mined through a process called surface mining. This is a process that involves clearing all the vegetation from the landscape and removing layers of soil and rock with heavy equipment and explosive to expose the coal seam that lies underneath. The international laws state that the coal companies themselves are responsible for rehabilitating their site. In note, this is in contrast to places where the state takes on the responsibility. The mining process is supposed to be progressive in the sense that a mining out area should be rehabilitated even as other areas are open it up. The companies are required to set aside money before mining to pay for the cost of rehabilitation after mining. The law also states the coal companies must attempt to restore the mining site to the original conditions of the landscape. And future requirement that the companies negotiate with the local communities about the final target of rehabilitation. Mining has lots of different environmental impacts. Um, perhaps the most pressing environmental impact that can occur after mining is polluted runoff, which in the case of coal mines usually manifests as acid mine drainage and can endanger local communities by polluting their water supply. Uh, soil erosion is another uh, impact of mining where unconsolidated soil is washed away by rain. And this in turn can stunt the ability of the landscape to recover from mining. Other environmental impacts include CO2 emissions and biodiversity loss, especially when the land cleared for mining was originally forest. Uh, this is commonly the case in East Kalimantan, which has some of the most biodiverse and carbon rich forests in the world. Another pervasive impact is the degradation of soil quality, including massive losses in essential soil nutrients, leaving behind wastelands that have little value for local economic ventures such as rubber plantations and agriculture. Despite regulations, mining companies also often fail to carry out rehabilitation activities and leave behind voids in the landscape from unfilled coal pits. These environmental impacts, when left unaddressed, are likely to persist for many years into the future. But the companies avoid their responsibilities by the exploiting loopholes in the law. The most commonly exploited loopholes is that while a deposit to pay for the reclamation is required to obtain a mining license. Companies can begin mining operations before they obtain a license, as long as their mining plans and budget are approved. But there is also very little enforcement of death rehabilitation policies. So many companies, especially smaller and less feasible ones, can get away with simply not following the rules. But, there are also other issues with the law. The language usage is a confusing. If the local companies should negotiate with the local communities, then what is the use for restoring the land to its original condition if the local community wants something else? Also, within the scientific literature, there is no Evidence that targeting the original condition of a site of the mining is even feasible. Most studies suggest that the damage from the mining will persist from centuries to come regardless of whether miners are rehabilitated or not. If you define rehabilitation as preventing the immediate dangers of abandoned coal mines, such as polluted runoff that can affect drinking water, soil loss to erosion, and drownings in abandoned mine pits, then yes, rehabilitation is possible. But the current law states that coal companies must restore the original condition of the landscape, a rehabilitation target that is not possible with the current state of rehabilitation technology. In this way, the law expects coal companies to aim for an unreachable target. Preventing polluted runoff, soil erosion, and drownings in abandoned mine pits can be achieved in less than five years, so relatively quickly. As far as restoring the original condition of the landscape, especially when we were talking about areas that were previously forested, 
Uh, we, we really don't know because we don't have documentation of previously surface mined areas that are now in the condition that they were before they were mined. But the best estimates that we have are that this process will take hundreds and possibly even thousands of years. And in some cases, it may actually just never happen at all.